Hello guys, here's just HGV Productions. I've been seeing many people out there recently that have been having problems with their uh, Minecraft, like their jar crashing or something like that in a certain way. And I want to help those people out there. So if you're having any problems with your Minecraft, like when installing mods, there's this great thing called Magic Launcher. Now I use Magic Launcher for my uh, for uh, Shaders mod. I only use Shaders mod when there's a time lapse or anything else like that. I can't use Shaders mod just with the normal daily stuff because my graphics card can't support it because it's very low end. It's just for basic things like Minecraft, just alone. With Magic Launcher, you can do uh, many things, and like you can install mods easily. You can test them if you know they're gonna fail. You can locate more RAM to it. But first, I'm gonna show you how Minecraft looks alone. Here's my uh, server. So. Now, don't say it's because of the connection. It's I'm on local host, so I'm gonna have the best connection either way. Uh, sounds annoying. All right, sorry for the background noise, but here's a video settings. See, they're very bland. You can have max FPS, far, uh, VSync off. This is pretty much what we can do for Minecraft on here. And I'm getting 2115 FPS, and I have a total of. I have like 910 megabytes of RAM located, and it's only 53%. That's how it is just for ordinary Minecraft. Now, we leave, we leave this, just leave it out there, put it on the side. Let's get Magic Launcher open. Now, people, you want to use mods like this, right? Like you want to use Camera Studio, Mod Loader, so you can run your mods easily. Instead of going into the, you know, the good old, uh, the good old, you know, the old fashioned percentage, and app data percentage. Now it's great and all, but then you have to do constant backups. Ah, oh, that's annoying. And, you know, then you have to go in here and do all this and that, go in, back it up. It's, it's good for more classic stuff, but you know, this is <clears throat> this is better, um, in my opinion. So if, you know, you download my loader. I do direct, but you know, if you do ask, I can donate. Uh, you download Camera Studio, too many add-ins. You download Optify, and then you, there's Magic Launcher right here. This is by uh, SP614X, and here it is. There's a bunch of people that like it. People are loving it. I'm doing a review on it right now, and, and how to install it. So we, if you download it, I think you, I put the links into the separate mods, like the ones that I use the most. And so. We're gonna open up Magic Launcher. So just remove that because you know you're gonna be you're gonna be opening this up a lot. So you're gonna go into setup. Now to add mods, let me remove these. Let me go. Well, to do this, let me just do it this way. You go to add. So here you go, I'm gonna download it. You know the bull crap, the one the stuff that gives you the virus. So let's skip that. And camera studios in the start. There's Camera Studio. Put onto your desktop. I'm just using this as an example. So I'm gonna click Add. Then I'm gonna go to Desktop. Okay. Um, so here you go. You get Camera Studio and you install it. Um, here's Mod Loader. I put it Mod Loader at top, and then you put too many items there. I have Optifine third, Camera Studio. It all depends how it works. So if, like, if you did, if you know there's an error, to watch. You're gonna get eight errors, so you want to put all of this on top. It's like layering an image. If you know how to use Photoshop, it's kind of like that. But you want to move it up. See, okay, that's okay now. It still has eight errors. Put that up. It's fine. But two nines is that mod loader, so you want that below. So you want this controlling the other mods at the bottom. So it's gonna go into your Minecraft jar, and then you're gonna want to test. Testing is the key because if you just go ahead and click OK, you'll. Here you go. Now there's a F, there's not an FPF difference yet until I give you a key part. Um, now let's go into advanced. Many of yours is going to have 512 megabytes. What you're going to do is you're going to search up the amount of RAM you want. Say you got 10 gigabytes, you want to like put 6 gigabytes towards your Minecraft. Um, I have it like that, so here you go. 6 gigabytes equal to megabyte. You copy that. Or if you have like four, I'll locate two. Or if you want to go to detail, you go do virtual RAM. I'll have a video like that for soon. 
So there you go, you got 6,144 megabytes of RAM. So there you go. You have it selected, and then there's the next part. Alright, I'm back. So for the next part, um, now if you already put up, if you already put up a magic launcher and there's external mods, that's, those are the mods that are inside your Minecraft.bin. If you just left your Minecraft jar alone, I, ma I made a fresh new copy, but you know, there you go. So I located this much RAM. If you have a 64 bit operating system, I recommend uh, Java 64 bit. So, you know, once you're done with that and you test everything, so remember just earlier I told you to test. If you get any errors, go back and go check your RAM. Make sure to check your RAM if you're, if you're, um, if it, there's any issues, just, um, go back, lower down the RAM some more. Make sure, like, you know, if, if you have, like, 4 gigs, sometimes there's a bug or something, you want to put a one, 124, but mine's fine. Uh, I like to have core temp here to check how much RAM is being used by Minecraft. Just in case some some freak thing happens, so I'm gonna log in. So if you can see, it works now. And we're gonna go to, we're not gonna go full screen, but I'm gonna show you how much it's gonna about to take up. Server's not public yet. It is somewhat, but not to the full extent. So now it's at 41%. Let me go to options, video settings. See now the settings are much better. Um, you can do f normal plus one twenty two fancy graphics. Uh, performance, so I can do speed FPS, preload chunks, quality, so you can have a uh, random mobs off, smooth buttons on, custom fonts off, uh, so you can do all these things with OptiFine, um, LIGO meter, performance, chunk load, uh, multi-core, see look now my processor has gone up by a bit. And we're going to go to details. You can do clouds fast, uh, trees to fall. You can do anything you want with Optifine. I mean, it's in a. Oh, you can also install texture packs while you're in game. So you go to your texture pack and add it. It kind of glitches out on servers. You don't have to log back out and log back in. So here it is. For me, it runs more smoothly. Instead of it having the. Instead of having less FPS. So now we can just adjust it to be normal plus 80. And so here it is, 33 FPS. I'm not too shabby. I've located that much RAM to it. So it performs better. It's more smoother for me. So that's pretty much it for you guys out there. For you, um, see now there's much better chunk load updates. So the maps in the render faster. Um, so for you guys out there that have had issues with installing mods or Minecraft, Magic Launcher is the best option for you. And then can you please uh, just subscribe to my subscribe to my uh, channel and it'd be great I'll have more videos like this soon if you have any questions please put a comment below or inbox me I'll help you the best as I um, as what I can and also check out my uh, friend's channel SGO official he does tutorials as well just like mine and with this I've tried it on my my uh, old gaming computer and I've done a boost FPS of 20 30 FPS for um, the old game computer that now my brother uses, if you can hear him in the background, um, it helps him quite a lot. So that is all. Uh, Minecraft should run smoother for you. If there's any problems, just inbox me, and I'll I'll help you as best as I can. So that is all, and thank you for watching.